Welcome back. According to Atos's journal, he's been using the Crystal Viewer in an attempt to look in at his son's prisons. It seems Atos and Camphorin are having doubts about their decision to leave Cirrus and Akinar imprisoned. But they're also reluctant to release them without having evidence that they've changed. And it's not as if they could simply go there to check. Going to the prison ages would mean bringing a linking book, and thus giving Cirrus and Akinar the opportunity to escape. It's essentially the same problem Aetris had in Riven, where he couldn't send the stranger to Riven with a linking book back to Dunny. It's at this point that it really becomes clear that the prisons of the brothers in this game aren't like what we saw in Myst. In Myst, the brothers were imprisoned in special trap books which followed a very different set of rules than regular books. They could contain only one person, if a second person used them, the first is set free. They allowed the person trapped to see out the linking panel, and sound could travel through the linking panel as well. These things aren't possible with normal linking books. However, in Mist 4 it seems that the brothers are trapped on regular prison ages, much like Gan was trapped on Riven, or the prison ages used by the Dunny, such as Tagira from Mist 5. These are real places rather than the black, featureless voids of the trap books in Mist and Riven. The official word on this, given by Cyan employee Richard A. Watson, is that Mist 4's interpretation is the correct one. Sirius and Akinar were trapped in regular prison ages, the red and blue books in the Mist library were regular linking books, and trap books, as shown in Mist and Riven, do not exist at all. Richard Watson contends that Mist and Riven are based on factual historical documents about the life of Atris. In these quote-unquote real histories, the trap books don't work that way. Trap books as shown in Mist and Riven are simply artistic license on the part of Cyan to make these histories into playable games. What that means is that the real stranger who helped Atrus never talked to Cirrus and Akinar through the linking panels. For that matter, nor could he have talked to Atrus through the green dunny book at the end. These things as shown in Mist didn't actually happen that way. He must have gotten the information about which fireplace combination to use and about the green book and the missing mist page some other way. Perhaps from additional journals that weren't featured in the game. If the stranger had chosen to use the red or blue linking book, which he obviously didn't, he wouldn't have exchanged places with Cirrus or Akinar. He would have been trapped in the prison age as well, unless he got an extra mist linking book somewhere and took it with him, in which case he would have been able to get out, but also would have set the brother fr uh, from that age free. Atrus destroying the books at the end of Mist simply prevented other people from doing exactly that, linking in with a way out and freeing his sons. It had no other effect on uh, Ceres and Akinar themselves. This also means that the way Gen was captured uh, in reality is different than what was seen in Riven. The trap book in Riven would have been a normal linking book linking to a place that looked like Kavir, that was in fact somewhere else in order to trick Gen. The stranger would have needed to use a different method to convince Gen to use the linking book, since exchanging place uh, wouldn't have worked. And he'd also have to find a way to prevent Gen from bringing a linking book back to Riven with him. Well, since we were never given these histories that Richard Watson refers to, we can only guess uh, what really took place. But if we are to believe Mist 4, it didn't happen the way we saw it in Mist as well as Riven. Whether you believe that Mist and Riven are correct, or that Richard Watson and consequently Mist 4 are correct, doesn't really matter. We're playing Mist 4 now, so at least for the moment we will accept its interpretation of the prisons. It should be noted that Richard Watson wrote about the real nature of the trap books as early as 1998, long before Mist 4's release, so this change was apparently not made simply to accommodate the story of Mist 4. I'll put some links in the description of this video uh, to messages written by Richard Watson where he explains about the prison books, so you can decide for yourself what to believe. Okay, with that out of the way, almost half the video up, just uh, by me explaining about the prison books, we can um, uh, finally contact Atrus now, because we have the combination to rhyme in the Crystal Viewer. Seems that um, Aetris built this crystal viewer here because he didn't like working in the cold temperatures of uh, of Rhyme. And he included a refrigeration unit uh, to generate these cold temperatures artificially, which are apparently needed for the crystals to work. Okay, now we need to uh, dial in the code. Oh, and there's actually a memory associated with the uh, crystal viewer, so let's watch that first. 
Don't you see, Captain? The new design means we won't have to go to Rhyme anymore. We'll be able to view our son's ages from right here. Okay, pretty obvious. Um, okay, we need to uh, enter the code. Now, if you've played Real Mist, or at least watched uh, Shady Paradox's uh, Let's Play of Real Mist, then you know um, how the code was entered there. This uh, newer crystal viewer works slightly different. All we need to do is uh, select which crystal to use using the slider. And um, select the color using this lever. And the first crystal is actually this one in red. The combination, you remember, we saw it in the, the journal. And I took a picture of it. That's the combination we have to enter. Okay, so the second crystal is... Um, this one, I believe, or... Right? This one, actually, I think. Drawings don't exactly match up with the actual shape of the crystal, so it's sometimes a bit hard to uh, determine which one you actually need. I'm not sure that's the next one. First in yellow. And then we need that one again in uh, green. Finally, we need this one in blue. Let's see if I got that right then. If I did, we should be able to see Atris. Or to the very least, see Ryan. Ah, my friend, are you there? Hope you're getting this. Barely receiving you. Listen, there's a terrible electromagnetic storm here. I can't leave Ryan until it's over. But I know what you can do. Put a desk in my bedroom. Below the top drawer, you'll see a symbol. Press on it to open two compartments. The commentaries I wrote on Haven and Spire are inside. Oh, and tell Isha not to forget her homework. Okay, it seems that uh, Atreus was simultaneously using a crystal viewer in Rhyme to look at us, because the crystal viewer works only one way. But apparently uh, reception was really bad, and he couldn't really uh, see or hear us, apparently. So we couldn't even tell him that Yisha was kidnapped. Why doesn't he wonder why it took us so long to contact him? I mean, it's gotten dark, it's been hours. Couldn't have taken us that that long to uh, turn the uh, the power back on. Anyway, seems Atris is uh, currently um, unable to come back, or at least doesn't know that he has to come back. So that means it's up to us once again. We're gonna have to find out what happened to Yisha. Which means that at this point a thorough investigation of Tamana is in order. So gather as much information as we can about what happened to Isha. See if we can find some clues somewhere. start with, I want to return uh, here. Try and look for clues, as well as uh, this will also give us the opportunity to use uh, the necklace on some of the things we saw here, because there are in fact a couple of things here that will have memories. One of those things is the family tree over here. Now we can see what this thing is. It's actually a light. 
allowing us to see the family tree, clearly even in the dark. This is only part of our family tree, Yisha. If we wanted to, we could trace our lineage all the way back to when our ancestors first arrived in Dunny. Apparently, Atris didn't want to. Okay, um, let's take a picture of this, actually. And we'll continue in the next video.